Hello guys, welcome again. This is Breaking In, the Path of Michael Gardas. My name is S.O. Figueroa, and here I am again outside of my cave. I uh, stood outside to the world and what the world can offer me. And I'm back here in a small cup of shop called uh, Punta del Cielo. I want to tell you guys about my activity in the past two weeks. I, um, I just came back from a show, uh, it's called uh, La Mole Comic Con, which I, uh, I, I told you guys about. And it was a really exciting time. I get to do a lot of stuff and I'll tell you guys, well, let me not tell you, let me show you guys what I was all about. I was there with my friend Ernesto, Ernesto Singh, it's another part of the QB gang. Uh, and I remember if you're about um, beginning, so, um, so yeah, I'm, I'm sure he has some really cool and inter interesting stuff to show you too. But uh, for now, I'm just going to show you what we, uh, we did. And uh, yeah, be right back. At last, we are here at La Mole Comic Con. I'm here with my very good friend Ernesto Sin. Hello, guys. And we're getting ready for uh, you know for the con. We have all the tables ready. We have all the stuff, all the good stuff right there. We have original art. We have a, there's a voice telling us something. There's a sprint. There's uh, the banner. Sorry for the uh, shaky cam, but. It's just the intro and we hope that we are going to have a lot of fun and we are ready to rock and um, we'll, we'll see you in a bit. We are in the midst of the day. It's 5 o'clock. I'm here with my friend Ernesto Sin. He's uh, my QB brother. And we are having a good time. So far, so good. It's, it's a little bit slow. It's, uh, it's Friday. It's the first day of the con. And uh, all things considered, I think we're doing okay. I've so well. Let, let me tell you a little bit about the, the, uh, the stuff that I brought here. Um, this is this is one of the, the books that I brought. This is called Two Coffee Shots, Please. It's my actually my second sketchbook that I'm uh, publishing, and I published this especially for this con. It's a collection of my uh, drawing sketches. Um, most of them I got it right here. I got the originals, and well, I brought them for the for the people to see. So that's one. I'm, I'm really proud of this one because last week was hell. It was uh, it was really difficult to bring this here, uh, mostly because of technical difficulties. The book was already done, but there were some you know stuff that I had to sort out. So uh, sorry about that. We were attending some customers, and my second book is Tyrus. This book you've already seen. It's. Uh, I, uh, it's a fruit of the labor, of, of hard work, and um, you know, it, it's it's a beautiful print. I, I, I printed. I use the uh, Kaplam services, and once again, they uh, pass the test with flying colors. I, uh, I can I can I can really I can say it with, uh, with proud. I'm very proud of this book, and uh, I hope that uh, people like it. Uh, on, the, on the side note, uh, Brian Pulido, I think he's, uh, he's, visit he's a visitor here at the con. He, uh, he stepped into my table. He kind of glanced at my, at my work. I tried to play it nonchalant, and, uh, but I think that was, that was a cool uh, detail. So yeah, this is my other book. So I got Tyrants and two coffee shots, please. If, uh, hopefully they'll fly away in the hands of uh, happy customers and if not we'll we'll make sure to find them some some place to stay some uh, some happy happy bars person that, that wants to read this this kind of book so, so that's that and right now I'm, I'm oh I, I did uh, two commissions I'm really stoked about that because those were my first two commissions in the history of you know my uh, my me being in a console I, that was really cool. I, I will show you pictures later on. So uh, that's it for now. And uh, we'll get back to the table. I'm doing a uh, small sketch for uh, you know my boy Invincible. And uh, I'll show this to you guys when it's ready. So uh, yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Hello, my friends. It is 7.27 p.m. It is almost over day one of La Mole Comic Con. It was a really nice experience. I mean, it's only been uh, one day, but I, I had a really nice experience, man. I mean, uh, people are are appreciative of art. 
they uh, they don't diss you as uh, you know, people back back home. I mean, back home in Monterey, and um, there's a lot of talented artists around here. So uh, overall, it was a good experience. I had uh, had three commissions today, so that's that's a big win for me. And uh, I'm actually working on the thumbnail of my third commission, but it's for tomorrow. And uh, people bought me a couple of, of sketchbooks and a bunch of prints. So yeah, I'm, hopefully tomorrow will be a better day. Uh, Neto is not here right now. He uh, <laughs> went to charge the, set, the cell phones, you know, the mobile phone, because there is no electricity around here. But um, yeah, we'll be back with more for this sweet, sweet Comic Con. Yeah. Hello guys, it's me again, Dropper. So this is day two from La Mole Comic Con. This is definitely the busiest day so far. We are here at Hall B in uh, the Wall Street Center building. So we have people checking out stuff. And uh, I've sold a couple of prints. No commission so far. And uh, well, Neto had to you know, step out. I, I guess he went to play Xbox or something. But so far so good. I mean, it's, it's still uh, you know, it's noon. It's uh, 12:34, and hopefully this will pick up, and I'll tell you more um, once it happens. All right. See you in a bit. Right. So here we are, day three of La Mole Comic Con. Here with my friend Ernesto. He's trying some stuff, and so far it's been a it's been a really interesting experience. We have a. We have met a lot of people, a lot of cool people, a lot of good artists. We have experienced firsthand to be behind the desk, behind the table, doing some cool art, selling some stuff, and we we'll learn from the good and we we'll learn from the bad. But overall, this has been a really awesome experience. Um, this, like I said, this is my first time, and so far, so good. And, it's just beginning, it's around 11.33 and we are done at 8 p.m. tonight, that's, that's the end, that's the end of the, the, uh, the whole thing, the whole event, so hopefully this will pick up and we'll, we'll get to sell more stuff, so uh, I'll get back to you later. Hello guys, it's me, Esa Figueroa again. I am broadcasting from the Wall Street Center in Mexico City, this is almost the end of day three of La Mole Comic Con which overall it was an awesome experience because I got to know a lot of cool people. Sí, señor. Muchas gracias. I got to know a lot of cool people. I got to lend my Sharpie pen. I got to do uh, a, lot, a couple of commissions. And, uh, I sold a couple of prints. And uh, it was an interesting experience, like I said before. I, uh, it is the first time that I've been behind the table. And it's, it's getting it's getting dangerously addictive to be on this side you know if, if you uh, if you show your work to people and people seems to be responding to your work and, and giving you, you know, comments and good feedback I mean it's it is it is a good experience a good sensation and you just have to keep working hard you know there's a lot of competition like we always say right but uh, I'm happy I'm a happy camper I uh, well, Ernesto is not here right now but it was a really, really good experience. And um, I guess this is it for now. And I'll, I'll, I'll see you soon. Let me just show you how the table is set right now. Join me, please. Check it out. There's a couple of commissions. Well, not commissions because they're for myself. But uh, I still like them. This is my uh, original art. And they, these are the prints that I've been selling. This is Tyrants, the comic that I sold. This is a sketchbook. That's Ernesto's spot. And uh, that's the other print. And my uh, magazine rack. So yeah, that was it. That was my table. And um, I guess that's it. I'll see you next time. Peace. So that was the Molly Comic Con. Pretty cool, right? It was my first time to have a, having a table at a con and actually having that experience of talking to the people. It is very rewarding for uh, for me and, and for any every artist. 
that have a, um, a chance to experience this, you know, to have people to come, come over to your table and, and talk to you and ask you questions about your art or how you how are you are you managing to do stuff, how are you how are you dealing with everything, how do you what's your style, what is the uh, I don't know what's the, everything they I mean they ask uh, every kind of questions and of course they look at your stuff too and like your stuff that's that's the most rewarding part to to, uh, to know that your uh, your work is being appreciated and especially in this kind of con because um, um, it is it is different back there in, and I'm here at the uh, north part of Mexico and that that con was in Mexico City which is actually in the you know center of the of the, the country so. Uh, Besides being the most, um, the biggest, city, the biggest city in the world, and in New Mexico, of course, that con itself, it was in the World Trade Center of Mexico City. And, uh, it had a different flavor. Uh, I was used to uh, visiting cons here in uh, in Monterrey, and it, it is so different. The vibe is so different because over there, it's more like a, like a real comic book convention. It's it's more like Comic Con instead of just like a, a, a show where you go and buy. It. Stuff, uh, uh, you know, big, big, um, big companies. Of course, they were there too, but it is, is it is more, um, it's more your source art, and, and it's getting, it's actually getting the power back to comic books and to art and artists instead of just going to show and you know um, buy uh, a couple of, I don't know, uh, of stuffed animals, uh, I don't know, you know, um, like teddy bears and such, uh, or Pikachu. So I mean, I have nothing. To Against manga or anime, I love it. But the um, it, this this was more near source American comic books, and of course all the international artists that were there. I, I got the chance to meet not me. I got the chance to say hello to Todd Knott, which is an awesome artist. And I always, every time I have this chance, I just go and, and say hello because he's he's really like an overall awesome art uh, guy and really cool to talk to. So uh, once again, Todd, thanks for saying hi to me and say th thanks for taking the time to talk to me. And also, uh, there were a couple of my friends over there too from Pierce Monterey. They they went over there to present their books and um, present everything uh, that they have been working on. So uh, that was a really really cool experience. And uh, as as you saw in the videos, it, it was it was really amazing. And uh, I mean, this is just the first one of uh, like hopefully many because um, you know I have I learned a lot of stuff and I learned a, a bunch of things that I want to I want to implement in the future. So it was an really positive experience and I recommend every artist to do that for all my friends sorry about that for all my friends that haven't had the uh, chance to experience Comic Con um, not about the Comic Con just, uh, my suggestion is just go, go ahead and do that and in other news next week I'm flying over to uh, New York, New York City Comic Con. This is a uh, this is a really exciting time. It is also it's going to be my fourth time over there. I went uh, I was there for the three years of the Cuber School. Every year the school takes us as a class as a group to uh, Comic Con. You know, just, uh, you know, just do the drill, uh, meet people, talk to editors, uh, show your stuff, drop sample packets everywhere. And uh, I mean that's just how it is. That's, and I just have to you have to do that. You have to get to know people, you have to uh, experience that uh, before even trying to uh, you know, get, getting a gig or, or, or trying to apply for any, any other like, big companies because you have to, you have to, you have to uh, do your work, you have to uh, experience that and only because only after that you know how hard it is to make it in this, in this business and it is also a really humbling experience because it was only after my third year going, you know, for the school. Uh, and the first and the second time, I dropped my portfolio and, and I took people around. And, you know, I got lots of cast feedback, but it was only on the third year when I got to, to meet a uh, Marvel editor. Uh, I, I make the cut, and, and, and I got a, I got a, a callback. So I got a Marvel editor to look at my stuff, and he gave me a really good feedback. He sent me a uh, sample script to work off. And um, that was a really, that was like, awesome. I, my, my, my train of thought was like, dude, I made it. Finally, someone saw my work. And this is it. This is, this is my chance. This is, I'm not going to blow it. I'm just going to give it my all. And of course, I, I tried to do that. I, uh, I did a uh, bunch of pages and I never got my, uh, I never got any feedback. So, but, but that kind of stuff happens. Uh, you have to you have to be aware of, of uh, the kind of the, uh, the amount of portfolio that editors get. I mean, 
they, they get like hundreds of, of emails from my intake. So uh, um, so I, I didn't get discouraged because I didn't get any, any feedback or any callbacks or anything like that. That just made me try harder. Like I'm, I'm going to make it. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep trying until I, su I succeed. That's that's my goal. Like that's my my um, my sole purpose. Because this is this is what I want to do, and this is there's nothing that's gonna stop me to achieve my goal. So it um, like I said, it didn't stop me. It only made me. Wanted more and, and made me uh, fuel my, uh, you know, my, my drive for, uh, you know, getting at that objective. I go. So uh, this, like I said, this is going to be my fourth time, and I'm, I'm really excited too because I'm going to see my friends. I'm going to see the whole uh, breaking cast, the whole um, QB gang. I'm going to meet uh, my friend Aries, Lloyd, Earl Ernest. I saw him two weeks ago, but he's going to be there too. Hopefully, I'm going to see, I'm going to get to see Damien. I'm going to meet. Um, I'm gonna guess I'm gonna see my, my, my ex teacher now, uh, colleague Rod Rancho. You're awesome, Rod. And also, hopefully, I'm gonna meet in person um, Josh Barbo, which, which uh, he was, he is the writer of, of Tyrants. Remember that awesome comic book that you, awesome comic book that you should uh, you should already have it in your hands. But if you haven't, just go ahead and to uh, go to Amazon and buy that. Which reminds me, I'm gonna take some um, printed copies over to Comic Con. Printed copies of, of Tyrants. So, uh, if you can, in case you're interested, just uh, send me an inbox and we'll we'll meet up there. And I, uh, if you're interested, you wanna get uh, a printed copy because there's no, there are no printed copies right now. There's only the uh, online version. So this is like a special edition just for just for this one, just for comic. So uh, remember, if you wanna you wanna copy, just send me an inbox on Facebook or, or just put put a comment up down here. Also, I'm gonna bring my uh, my new sketchbook, two copy shots, please. Because um, you know, I just love coffee. And, um, <laughs> I don't know. That has nothing to do. I mean, it has everything to do with it. But it's just a just a catchphrase that I have. I like to say. So I'm gonna take my uh, sketchbook over there. I'm gonna take a couple of copies. If you're interested too, it's a collection of uh, drawings and sketches. You can't get it anywhere, uh, but um, but it would be for now. Um, if you leave somewhere somewhere around the world, you can just send me any box too, and we'll. We'll sort it out, then uh, I can make the, you know, I can make the deliveries, and um, yeah, it's an exciting time. So uh, hopefully, hopefully next week is going to be an awesome time. And um, besides going to New York, uh, last thing uh, when I get back from New York, uh, well, I'm teaching now. I don't know if I told you guys. I think I have. And this is going to be my fifth class. I have a group of like 15 students. They are all a bunch of good kids, and different levels, different ages. So it's it's also an exciting and uh, interesting experience to, to teach, uh, you know, to uh, to share all those, uh, you know, that, that knowledge that the school taught me, the Cuber school taught me. Now I have to implement it, and I have to actually go ahead and go, I have to go back and you know, review everything that I, you know, I've been I've been taught, and now I try to. Um, to deliver that to the young minds of this, the new generation of kids that want to draw. So, um, well, I'm giving it my best, and, and I hope they are they are getting good stuff from me. And I'm gonna keep doing my my best to show them what I, at their age, what I wanted uh, to know. But now, knowing what I know, um, if I if I met like 50, uh, 15 year old dropper, 15 year old SAU, and, and, and met him and said, dude. Don't stop drawing, and here's what you need to know. If you want to make it to this business, just do this and don't stop. That's, that's the kind of stuff that I want to do. That I want to, I want to teach my students right now. So um, it's, I'm only halfway. It's uh, like a month and a half, and um, I still have uh, close to six classes left. So hopefully, I'll I'll deliver the goods and I'll I'll make people uh, you know happy and, and and give them the weapons to to make it in this business. So yeah, that's it for now. I'm just waiting for my friend Javier, who he's supposed he's, he's visiting the he's visiting the city. I mean, he's from here, but he lives in Austin, and uh, we we agreed to meet here. But apparently, he's so the, he's, run, he's running on the other so I'm just hoping that everything is okay. And I'm just waiting for him to get here. So um, once again, thank you for watching this. I know that we're probably we are uh, short on subscribers, and we have. I think a uh, small amount of views, but if it helps just one one of you guys sees this, I mean that's that's the whole that's the whole thing. So uh, 
thanks again uh, for watching this. Share it, like it, subscribe. And this is for us, this is for you. Uh, just remember that if you want to break in, you, you have to never give up, and never surrender. You only fail if you stop trying. I read that today on Facebook and I really like it. So uh, never give up, never surrender. Work hard and I'll see you guys at New York Comic Con.